Hey everybody, it's Cass with Red Mountain Realty, and I've got another gym for you. That's two today I'm going to show you. This one, though, is in beautiful Ardmore, Oklahoma. 305 Eastwood Circle in Ardmore, and it's such a buy. This lot is huge. House is 1,783 feet, more or less, and it's got almost a full acre. I mean, it's just shy of a full acre lot, and you wouldn't be able to tell it from the front. So let's look inside real quick, and then I'm going to show you the back of this property. Look at what they did to the front here. Now, if you look at old pictures of this property, you're going to see a totally different kind of house, okay? They went through and redid all the landscaping on this. They've got fresh paint. It looks gorgeous. Looks gorgeous. So let's come on in and take a look here. Look at this beautiful door. Love it. As you walk in, it's got this really cute Art Deco light. But this is one of the other big features of this house. It's got two living areas. And this first one, it can be used for formal dining. It can be used for a reading room. It can be used for playroom. That's what the last owners had. And the owners before that, um, they had it as a reading room. So they had bookcases and all this stuff. But this could be an entertainment room, game room, whatever you want to do it as. Okay. We go into the front room here. And they've redone the mantle. They've redone the walls. Beautiful shiplap underneath there. The paneling that you see on the bottom half of it. Look at what they did to this mantle. This is, this is fresh right here. They had the TV up above it. It looks so nice. So nice. Lots of space, too. It's one of those things. And look at this open floor plan. You got good size tile in here, but look at all this counter space and all this storage. You got under cabinet lighting, but you've got storage above, storage below. Put your refrigerator here, oven built in here. You've got cabinets all the way around this thing. It's all sorts of countertop space on it. I mean, I could put four islands in here, and at the end of the fourth island, guess where that would be? Oh, Key West. No, I'm just kidding. I love Florida. Okay, so you got all this space. You can put your dining room table here, but look at all this open space. You can put a huge table. Matter of fact, the people that lived here before had a huge table in it. And it connects here. This is where you would normally go into the garage. Look at what they did to this door here. They've got the they got the chalk going on. This room goes, this goes to the garage. It's a two-car garage. All right. Got your laundry section here. But look at the size of this, this workspace here. Now Current ones, they used it for storage and different stuff like that. But I saw this really cool. They put a table here, and all this pegboard was ribbons and everything. They did wrapping out here. The lady that lived here before made bows and did wrapping, Christmas and birthdays and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it'd be your space. So decide what you want to do with it. I mean, there's electrical outlets everywhere. If you wanted this to be like an office or a study of some sort, you could do that. All right? We go back through the, the huge kitchen into the spacious living room and then you got the second spacious living room we go into the bedroom sections of the house and that's kind of what i like it's all sequestered over here so if you have guests over and everything they really have no reason to come in through here as far as this part because this is bathroom number one okay it's three bedroom two bath uh just under 1800 square feet and it's very very big you got a, a double vanity size there but it's only got one sink double vanity very spacious you come into the bedroom number one, and it's got a really cool Art Deco area. I mean, look, this, look at all this space you got in through here, okay? I love the treatment that they have underneath here. It kind of gives it that ocean feel, but look at this Art Deco light thing. I mean, scallops and everything, it, it kicks off beautiful, beautiful amounts of indirect light, so it's very easy on the eyes. Nice storage uh, compartments here into the closet. You come through here and go into the second bedroom, and it's pretty much the same size, very spacious still, okay? French door closet, got lots of storage capabilities there, okay? And then we'll go into the master, and you, you're not going to believe this, but this room is giant, okay? As you come around the corner, I'm going to keep walking and keep walking and keep walking. Look how big this thing is. All right, I'm six foot tall, so if you laid me end to end, I'm going to say maybe 20 feet. Okay, no, nah, maybe not that much. Maybe 18, but I'm pretty close, you know. Big closet, okay, very spacious in here. They use the California closet or Rubbermaid um, pegboard, not pegboard, but you know what I mean. It's kind of like you're at a retail store, all right. All sorts of storage capabilities in here. 
And then we go into the bathroom, and I'm just going to invite you to come in through here and go check out everything that you've got all the way down and back inside there. That, that shower is huge, absolutely huge. It goes all the way back and around the corner. It's completely tiled in. It's got the drop-in light, and you don't feel claustrophobic in the shower or this, this toilet area here because of how much space it has in it, all right? I mean, I hate getting in the bathrooms, and I'm kind of like feeling like I'm at the stall at the, the fairground speedway. You know what I'm talking about? Um, so I like all the space. Well, you really can't get a total feel of how good this is, but look at the way it transitions. You've got crown molding. you got crown molding in here. You've got crown molding in the hallways. You've got beams up inside here. There are so many really nice touches, okay? So... Let me show you the last piece. Now, there are a couple pups out here. I don't mind the puppies. If you don't mind them, I don't mind them. Come on, let's go. Oh, they're going to go inside for a second. Come on. Look how big this is. Now, I told you it was almost an acre. Almost an acre. When I say almost an acre, I'm talking feet. Huge trees. You've got pine trees. You've got, I think that's a pecan tree. Uh, I'm not going to dig around for nuts, but it is so spacious so spacious so if you look back here it goes all the way back there i'm talking about huge okay so you got to come and see this thing you see this sh this shop right here it's got electrical run to it they've got some woodworking stuff in there we're not going to go in and show you woodworking tools but i want you to see your own stuff in there that could be a man cave and then you also get the separate storage for your uh, zero turn bad boy lawnmower, okay? You're gonna need it with this property. Hey, hey, I love puppies. Give me a call, 405-732-5867. Let me show you this house, okay? 405-732-5867. My name's Cass, Red Mountain Realty. Give me a call.